hello guys welcome to my channel so on today's video we are going to be talking about the things you need to do after your application was rejected by facebook so we know that it takes some time for them to approve your application after applying for in-stream ads and other tools on the platform so when you get rejected what are the things you need to do what are the things you need to set in place so that if you request for review, they are going to approve you? Now, before we go into details, what are the things that makes Facebook to reject an application? First is content, the kind of content you make. When you apply for monetization on FB, they normally go through all the contents everything you have on your page both the account that is managing the page the country location your growth your source of engagement your source of views and where your pages are displayed or your contents are displayed in so they take their time and they scrutinize your page and they 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 they, they, they are going to decide whether to accept you into their monetization program or reject you take note that when they reject you it doesn't mean that you are not doing every uh, anything right and it doesn't mean that they are not going to accept you into their monetization program again rejection simply means go and work on your page that is what it is because after rejection some days you always see review request a review now the mistake most people do is once they see review after a rejection they are going to click on it and when you do this you've not changed anything you've not even um diagnosed or, or found out why they rejected you in the first place so most people just go ahead and they click request review and when you request this review and they reject you again that is when the game becomes tough Yes, because before you see the request review button again, you may have to wait for months. So after rejection, these are the things you need to do. Like I said before, content is one of the things that makes them to reject you. And another thing that makes them to reject you is your activities on Facebook. If you are the kind of person that does all this follow to follow, follow to follow stuff and mistakenly you were able to maneuver their system and you met all requirements when they review your page they will reject you i know that for sure and also if you are the kind of person that pushes your content everywhere you post in every group you see you post in every app everywhere you share you by yourself you share your links everywhere you keep rewatching your video rewatching rewatching some of these things they are invalid activities on this platform and when you do this kind of thing rejection is very paramount all right and you also have to monitor the kind of comments you post on the platform all right and they also look at the your source of views for most of you that complete 60,000 minutes views and do some some sort of stops to meet up the requirement for monetization yeah once the setup button comes up and you apply it's not even uh, a guarantee that you're gonna be accepted all right so that is how it is on this platform now having said that what should you do after rejection pay very close attention to this this is a very premium content that i'm bringing out because i don't think anyone else has made this content but i had to do it because most people are suffering from it and i get a lot of messages like this in my inbox first is look at your content is your content promoting anything that is not allowed on the platform this is one question that you need to ask yourself is my content generally accepted by everybody can all ages 
all age range can children can teen, can adults watch my content is my content against a particular gender is it a, against a particular religion does it promote a particular political party or a particular people over another so you need to study what your page brings out so if you have contents like that on your page please just go and take them out and if you also have um contents that promote you know adult stuffs also take them out that is the first okay the second thing is you need to look at the account that is um managing this this page if an account has accumulated a lot of restriction due to posting things that is against the guidelines on meta meta guidelines they, they will not approve their account to monetize on their platform because to them this account produces spam spam content so they won't accept you into their program all right you also need to monitor the accounts that you use on this platform to um as admin sorry on your page once that is done another thing that you need to pay a very close attention to is your support inbox and your page quality that's page status as it is now before it was page quality so look at these stuff sometimes they send people stuff to their support inbox they send them stuff to their recommendation dashboard to remove some contents that they don't like but because they don't know where to find these stuff or because they are ignorant about it or because they are lazy to check it they will just leave it there and um, when they apply they are going to reject their application and also another thing this is not actually a very strong point but it's also one of the factors that may make them reject your application and that is um i think the activeness of your page yeah i i know this is not a fact but from my experience from the page i've set up pages that that are underperforming that that has no reach i'm not talking of followers now there are 5k follower pages that performs more than 1 million follower pages i'm not talking of followers i'm talking of the activeness so when a page is active they they believe that it is feeding their audience the right information what they need and they will be very glad to monetize it because advertisers want their content um their adverts to show on those contents and they will be very eager to monetize for example someone like mr beast if mr beast comes to facebook and opens a page today and drop one content trust me is going to be monetized just with that one content that one video and maybe four other posts to uh, uh, four other little videos to meet up the five videos that is required to monetize on the platform they are going to uh, uh, accept him because he's a big name advertisers will want their, their their ads to display on his content so this is also a, a mini factor that that um may be the cause of why these people reject your application so if your page is not that active before you click review just make sure you you post more you make it a bit more active than it was before you apply for monetization so these are the major things you need to do all right before you also um finally click on the review button just make sure you troubleshoot a little bit on your page troubleshoot it a little bit to find out any errors at all what i mean by troubleshooting is to make sure there are no contents that doesn't follow their guidelines and all those stuffs there everything is right on the page and uh, then you can go ahead and click the review button and trust you me they are going to monetize you but before i go make sure that your page targets a particular niche make sure you target a particular niche a particular audience because this increases the chances of you 
monetizing on the platform. So this is it on what to do after Facebook rejects your application. Please, if this video was helpful, hit the subscribe button and uh, follow me as well. Say I come your way next time. I still remain justice, Chibuike. Keep creating.